2020 is gonna be my year. I would be releasing my debut album, opening for Niall Horan and Louis Capaldi in arenas. And um, yeah, none of that has happened. <laughs> You guys, I'm, I'm like genuinely so bummed that I am not on tour right now. Like, it's eating at me. We all know what's going on. It wasn't safe to do so. Rock bottom. It's, it's a phase that I'm in right now. I can't be in sessions. I can't perform. I can't release anything. What, 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 where's, what's my identity? Feeling super lost, but also going through this emotional turmoil with my ex. We both thought this year would look so different within our relationship in a lot of ways. It seems like a really crazy concept to quarantine yourself with your ex, for sure. 2019 was insane. It was the best year of Fletcher's career. Undrunk was the fastest rising song at pop radio from a new artist in the last five years when it dropped. I was just proud of her. I think it was cool to feel it all connected to it, like I had a part or place next to her. We've been in an on again, off again, on again, off again relationship for the last four years. Going into 2020, Carrie was supposed to go on a bunch of tours. And we kind of had parted ways. We're gonna actually finally like take space from each other and like let each other grow. And then nothing went as planned. The pandemic hit and quarantine happened the week she was supposed to fly off to Europe for her sold out headline tour. I'm at my parents' place in Florida right now. I'm losing my mind. She's like, oh, you know, just come to Florida. We'll celebrate our birthdays together. Like, we'll figure the rest out. And then we made a really strange decision to quarantine together. We were processing a lot, and it was like a series of really difficult conversations. It was hard, for sure. Don't get me wrong. Very hard. I've been in consistent relationships since I was like 12. I never really developed the appropriate coping mechanisms to dealing with anxiety by myself. I've always had to make somebody else my rock. I want to experience that trust in myself, that freedom, and because I never have, like, how could I really like give myself to somebody? And how could I be a really good partner? How, how is that fair? I love you and there's so much love and so much respect and, and then you get caught up and it's like both people don't wanna let each other go. Cause how do you let, how do you, how do you let something, how do you let something special go that you don't wanna let go of? Have I been working on anything new? I've been writing a lot, actually. I got a mic set up. Over the last year and a half, I had been writing these songs about our tumultuous situation. And I was just like, if I'm gonna put out anything, let's be honest about what's going on. It's like, hey, I have my camera, you're beautiful and have this music. Like, let's just see what happens if we shoot something. And we shifted plans from her debut album to the sex tapes, because her entire mindset changed. The whole concept behind sex tapes is somebody being caught in their most vulnerable. That's what these visuals are for me, and it's being captured by somebody who's captured me in all of my forms over the last four years. That is drama, and I don't even know how she has the stomach to do that, so, you know, she's brave and bold. There was no crew, no styling, and no glam. We built the set designs together. She was like holding one light over here as I'm like balancing one on the other foot. And then, you know, after we made one thing, the other ones kind of became more detailed. The foundation and the messaging of the whole project was a song called If I Hated You. If I hated you, I know that I could do this on my own. That video is the biggest representation of the whole project because it is like voyeuristic. We set up like eight different security camera angles all around the room and on the ceiling. You're watching it not knowing if you're really supposed to be. Like, is this content for me or like, is it something that was leaked? Shannon's been shooting me with a handy cam since like 2017. So it was something that we wanted to like bring back. There's a few songs on the EP that are about, you know, the times we were off. So those videos were like a little bit hard to make, like thinking about the fact that like, you know, you break up, you hook up with other people, these things are just the reality. 
It was like so beautiful to turn something that was really painful into some kind of art. It was like a, a lot emotionally, but it also helped us process the grief we were going through. No one captures Fletcher like Shannon. I think Carrie wants to see herself the way she's captured with that same love and care. I think that she needs to find that for herself. I'm so proud of what we did to have this personal like representation of my love with her and now we can like move forward. There's not really like a happy ending at, 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 at this point in time. There's so much pain in that and there's so much, so much growing to do there and it's a time that I'm like, no, I have to do, I have to do it. I have to find me, I have to love me um, on my own two feet and not lean on, on anything else and that's a really oh, difficult to be like, all right, like look in the mirror and be like, all right, you and me, we're gonna be best friends when you've like never done that before. I've just watched her become stronger. She's so much more confident. Yeah, I respect her a lot. I am on the other side of this. Like my, my truest, strongest self is on the other side of this. And I wanna know what that person looks like so I can share that with the people in my life.